All right, I think this thing's going. Good morning, America. How are you? Don't you know me? I'm your native son. We'll be gone 500 miles by the morning. Don't you know when the day is done? You know, I will get back to it, but I have a confession. They say confession is good for the soul. The Democrats come on, and and I listened to three of them, and I had to cut off the third one because he's dumber than a rock. The one before him wasn't any brighter. The guy before him, Kim was his name, some Asian guy from New Jersey, stated, and I quote, Last night it dawned on me the relevance of this. You've been on vacation on the moon for the last three, four days, son. This thing's been unwinding, all right? You've been on the moon for the last 20, 30, 40 years that they've been attacking us, that this has been unwinding. Now, your boys went in there, your Democrats, and they made a hell of a mess that Trump is trying to clean up, okay? You want plans on how we're going to take the retaliation? You say that you know he was a terrible person. But you want to know how we're going to clean up our mess. Your mess. Obama's mess. They gave him billions of dollars to appease him and make him nice and quit killing Americans. When all he did was fund more killing of Americans. Trump ought to have the death penalty. Or not Trump, but Obama. For what he did to our country. And now, just like Obama and nobody before him had the testicles large enough to stand up to China and say, you're done screwing us. We're going to get our money back or some of it. All right. I crunch numbers. That's what I do. I'm going to jump off track here a little bit. My ADD is working real good this morning and I've had way too much coffee. But just so you know, if we had done this to China, what Trump has just done 20 years ago, Right now, our national debt would be sitting at $2.3 trillion, not $23 trillion. We've given China $20 trillion, thanks to the Democrats and the Socialists and the Worlders. Okay? We finally got a guy that's running under the Republican flag, but he's not a Republican, folks. He's not a politician. He's a businessman that's taking care of business. Because nobody's been taking care of business in Washington, D.C. for the last 15, 20 years. Since Reagan was in there. We had a little business taken care of. Now we're getting a lot of messes cleaned up. You know, mainstream media won't report this. We had a very happy new year. We just come off the lowest unemployment ever. The highest employment the lowest, we've got 6 million families that have gone off welfare and are now self-supporting. 6 million families, okay, that were in poverty, that are now self-supporting. Thank you, Donald Trump. We got a murderer that attacked our troops and our embassy, and you took him out. Thank you, President Donald Trump. Thank you from an old veteran, disabled veteran. Now, because I'm disabled, I'll get back to the news. I'll listen to 10, 12 hours of it a day so that you folks that are working don't have to listen to 10 hours of Democrats lying. That's enough to make the Pope sick to his stomach, okay? Just saying. And I do this free. I'll take 5, 10 hours. I'll turn it into 5, 10 minute concentrated, okay? Just like you could take the whole Bible and concentrate it into basically one statement that we should all love the Lord our God with all of our heart and all of our soul and all of our being. Yeah, it's a tough, tough challenge if you look at it seriously. I can't love these Democrats, so they're just too dumb for me. I'm sorry. And I, a very godly woman friend of mine from Minnesota, I got to see... Uh, I get, I'm blessed with her about once a month, once every other month, and she's always been a blessing to me my entire life. And I'm getting ready to think about different things to talk about when she gets here. And it dawns on me, you know, as I'm looking at how far left and stupid and crazy and communistic and socialistic that the Democrats have gone and how they lie continuously, and that's all they ever do is lie, okay? And the people that the Democrats have put in into office are so stupid. 
Who voted for him? No wonder our country's in a mess. We got half the kids in America under the age 25 that think of socialism is wonderful. You know, and capitalism stinks. Communism is great. Let's give up our guns. Only the government needs them. Yeah, right. Tell that to the Native Americans. They'll agree with you. Come on, folks. Wake up, America. First gal it gets on, I can't even remember how stupid she was. I just kept shaking my head. I'm going, these people don't even have a clue. The one guy, he talked about how terrible he was. But now what are we going to do? You know, we don't want to shoot first and ask questions later. You mean you want to know how Trump's going to clean up the mess that Obama put into place with funding their nuclear program and funding their missions on killing people around the world, their terroristic acts, with a hundred a billion dollars or more. Nobody knows, okay? Once again, we crunch numbers. You catch the whistleblower, though, from Ukraine, and when they ask him about what his thoughts were on this impeachment process, and he said it's the biggest bunch of baloney he'd ever seen. There was no quick pro quo. They had no idea there was any funds being withheld. They got their funds early compared to Obama because he asked him, now, was the funds ever delayed under the Obama administration? Now, that's an interesting story. Yes, the funds were always late. Six, three, six, nine months. And when we'd get them, we'd hear the economy was bad in America and we couldn't get 500 million we could only get $250 million. Now, when these things come out quarterly, that's a billion bucks a year he shorted Ukraine. That's $8 billion that he gave to the terrorists that he stole from Ukraine. That's taxpayers' money. That's my money that he used to kill Americans. That pisses me off. I don't think Obama should go to prison. Obama needs a death penalty. Okay? He's a war criminal. Period. He's just as guilty as the guy that we just killed last week. Just as guilty. Think about that for a minute. All right. I promise I'd make this quick. I'm going to wrap this up and get back to them idiots lying. Then i got to figure out what Trump's fixing to say. He's probably going to say, we're going to see and wait. We told him, you do not mess with our American citizens or our allies. So as long as they don't do nothing stupid with Israel or hit an American. Now, they hit us last night, and I, me an ex-military, think it's kind of funny that you can target an oil field and knock out oil field heads, okay? You can target a moving drone because they shot one of ours down. But when you lob 30 missiles over at a military base we have men stationed at, you don't hit one. I think you're trying to build your own propaganda machine going on over there, okay? That's what I think you're doing. Because according to your TV, you killed 70 Americans. That's what you're reporting. There were no casualties. We know who's who and where they're stationed, okay? But it looks good for you guys. We made our strike. We slapped them in the face. We made them pay. We killed 70 of theirs. Now we've we've had our fun, it's done. But they need to get out of here. Yeah, right. That they, they lie just as badly as Obama, and he's the one that knocked down the Smith Mandate Act, which made it legal to use propaganda against citizens and foreign affairs. Used to be against the law to lie on the news. But now they not only allow it, they promote it. CNN just had to pay $250 million to that young man that they accused of harassing the Native American with the drum with his Trump hat on. His college is paid for. You folks have a blessed day. I'm going to get back to them idiots complaining about why they weren't told about what was going on. Well, it's pretty simple. You've got a coup in progress that you all stood up for. You hate our president so bad you'll lie through the teeth. You hate our president more than you love America. You'd rather throw America under the bus to get rid of him and continue to sell us out to the terrorists 
to the drug dealers down in Mexico. Yeah, Pelosi, we know you're taking money from the cartel. That's why you got a sanctuary state, a sanctuary city, and your 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 constituents live in poop capital of the world. Not poop capital of the US. No place on earth the people poop in the streets like they do in your backyard, Nancy Pelosi. Great job, okay? It's okay to shoot heroin up, but you can't have a straw to suck a McDonald's strawberry shake through, not a plastic one. We'll give you free hypodermic needles, and we got a drug-free zone next block down. Legal to do heroin, but you can't use a plastic straw to drink a cherry Coke or a strawberry shake. You can't clap. That's against the law. You guys are doing real good down there. Your pollution is so bad, you're screwing up the ocean. You're a cesspool. Nancy, we don't want you doing to our country what you've done to your backyard because you don't care. It's obvious. Drain a swamp, President Trump. Don't forget to pray for your president, folks. Lift him up during these times. He's a good leader. He's doing well by us. America's a safer place with that animal dead. He won't be drilling into any more four-year-old boys' legs with a power drill, torturing them because he didn't like their father. Yeah, this monster's no longer here. He's in hell with the Ayatollah. Have a blessed day. Don't forget to pray for our president. Talk to you soon. I'm going back to the dummy Democrats. See just how stupid they really are. Oh, when I was thinking about my friend coming in, I was going to ask her, how dumb can you get? And then it dawned on me. If there's no God in your life, there's no end to the stupidity you can come up with. You can come up with a new color of stupid every day. And these Democrats are painting that picture. And their colors are stupid. I ain't never seen. See you guys real soon. Like, share, and subscribe. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.